You know, one of the most popular videos that we've done on the channel was about the amino acid NAC as a supplement, and that triggered a whole bunch of other content. But then uh, one of the biggest questions that came in was, well, what about Glynac or the combination of glycine and NAC? Well, let's just talk about that specifically, and I would do a kind of a condensed take on the combination of the two amino acids, glycine and N-acetylcysteine. So why would I consider taking those together and what would it do? Well, in order to perform one of the major things that N-acetylcysteine or NAC does, which is to help in the formation of glutathione, if I take N-acetylcysteine, it's the rate-limiting amino acid, meaning it's the linchpin for moving forward in making glutathione. So I have to have some of that in my diet or supplements or whatever. But what if I were to take other parts of glutathione? Well, glutathione is three amino acids. There's glycine, cysteine, and then glutamine. Now, our body already has a ton of glutamine in it. If you take by quantity, glutamine is the number one by quantity quantity amount of an amino acid in your whole body. So glutamine usually isn't the limitation. N-acetylcysteine is biochemically the rate limiter, but glycine, you may or may not be having a lot of that. So if we already know that there's a lot of research that says N-acetylcysteine or cysteine, but N-acetylcysteine as a supplement forms more glutathione, because it does, what if we took two out of the three and took glycine and cysteine together. Now, they could be in a separate pill or powder, or they could be together as glynac. Glynac just means glycine and N-acetylcysteine. It kind of doesn't matter however you get it. But it turns out that by providing two of the amino acids that come before the formation of the tripeptide glutathione, we also increase the amount of glutathione formed in the body. Now, people will ask, well, what would be the state of the science around NAC formation of glutathione versus glynac formation of glutathione? And right now, what we know is that both of them are helpful to raise levels of glutathione in the body which that's the punchline. That's what we want. What we don't have a lot of hard data on is if I give X amount of NAC and then if I give X amount of Glynac, will one or the other outperform and raise the glutathione levels more? So there's a lot of speculation that it would, and it makes some biochemical sense, because if I have three aminos I need to make glutathione, and I give two of them, probably going to make a lot more of that, that glutathione tripeptide. We already know a lot more about cysteine, because NAC or cysteine has been studied more about glutathione. But what we really need to answer the question as to is one really better than the other would be more head-to-head -head studies where we took and we measured before and after with just NAC or with Glynac as a combination. So the state of the science is the state of the science. It's going to change by the time this video is outdated. There'll probably be more science out there and someone can put it in the comments. That'd be great. But the bottom line is we want to support glutathione natural formation in the body. And unless you have very severe genetic glutathione synthesis problems or defects, taking NAC or taking Glynac will help you to form more glutathione. If it makes more sense to you to provide two of the three amino acids instead of one of the amino acids, by all means do that. And if you notice just anecdotally in your own self that you feel better when you take one or the other, then take one or the other. Someday science will catch up and tell us which one is going to be more efficient, which one is going to do more, and all of that. So remember the point, the punchline of all this, regardless of whether we're doing NAC or we're doing Glynac, which is NAC plus glycine, two out of the three, the punchline is to increase glutathione formation because our body makes glutathione naturally. And we like that. That's what we want. Increased glutathione formation can help us with a lot of detoxification processes, especially in phase two detoxification in the body. Increased glutathione helps with cell protection around the body and a number of other things that are very 
very helpful as we go along. So whatever way you do it, Glynac is going to give you two out of the three aminos to make glutathione. Your body takes over from there, put them together, and you're going to have more stable glutathione pool in your body. All right. Thanks for listening to this quick one. Dr. A, like, share, subscribe. We're going to put some other content up for you to listen to here. I'll see you on the next video.